All right, we've told you already today is your last day to register to vote if you want to vote in next month's election, but there are a lot of myths that exist when it comes to registration. Today's list will debunk some of those myths. Myth number one, you cannot register to vote if you serve jail time. That's a myth. In New York State, you can't vote while you're convicted of a felony, but based on an order signed by the governor two years ago, the right to vote is automatically restored for everyone when they're released from prison, even for parolees, as long as they don't violate terms of their parole. So, myth, you cannot register to vote if you are homeless. It is recommended that a person experiencing homelessness use the address of the shelter where they receive mail. So one can even list a street corner or a park as their residence. And this is a myth. You do not need to re-register re if you move within a state or county. In fact, even if you move within a county, you should re-register to update your address. Now, this is even more pressing if you move outside of the county and especially if you move out of state. And here's our final myth. You can't register to vote without a state-issued ID. That's not correct. You shouldn't need an ID to register, nor do you need one to vote by mail or in person. But if it is the first time you're voting in a federal election, the rules may be different. You may need that photo ID to register, though the last four digits of your Social Security number can work as well.